Hello colleagues, David Violet here with Note Taking for Consecutive Interpreting. Today I'd like to go over quickly a little exercise that is a traditional exercise, very well known. It's called sight translation. Uh, the idea is that you uh, pick up a written text in, in one language, the source language, and you read it out in another language, the target language. Now, this could happen in a conference. You may be sitting at the table doing consecutive and somebody will hand be speaking about a document that they're going to be referring to during the meeting and, and they'll hand you to the document and say, could you please read this out in another language, whichever that language may be. Let's say today we're doing French and English. Uh, actually, my old teacher, Christopher Thierry, used to tell a story about how uh, one of these famous interpreters, in those days I didn't know their names, would uh, do this on a regular basis just for fun. He would pick up the newspaper and let's say the, uh, the, the Telegraph or the, the Guardian in English, and he would say, hey, to whoever was at the table with him, maybe his wife or a, a colleague, friend, and, and say, look what they've got in the Guardian today. And he would read it out in French as if it were the Guardian in French, and he would comment that his friend would say, oh, I didn't know they had the Guardian in French. Where'd you get that? And at that point, he would say, well, it's not in French. I'm doing a sight translation. That's just a little anecdote about somebody who was obviously very good at it, and that's what we are aiming at, to be so good that it actually is so smooth and quick and natural sounding that we, the person would think it was being read in the source language, the language that is written on the page, rather than being translated mentally as the person reads. I had a, a client actually ask me to do this the other day over Zoom. I was doing a deposition uh, English-Portuguese, and he asked me, please just read this out in Portuguese. And uh, by, by he, the way he put it, I wasn't quite sure what he meant by just read this. But he meant a sight translation, and that's what I did. Anyway, for most of us, though, this exercise is mainly an exercise. It's a good practice, it's a, and, and it's very convenient. Unlike, say, you know, getting on internet, finding a YouTube video or something, and recording yourself doing simultaneous, and all of that requires being in the office. You could do this in the bus, or uh, people would look at you maybe askance, but uh, do it a little bit silently. But you can actually do this as a practice. It's excellent. And generally what you do is you pick up uh, a document, let's say a page, and you read it from top to bottom. And if it were an exam or a conference, you would read it with a special eye to how on earth you're going to put that into the target language. You might actually even underline some things. You might, some colleagues even put little numbers in to say, okay, in the source language, the order would be this, but in my target language, I think it would rather be that. So that would give you a few uh, hints as you go along. But you don't even need to do that. The whole idea is just to read it through and then read it through again while translating it orally. And try to do so fairly quickly, fairly naturally. And what this requires is looking, scanning well ahead. I can tell you that's probably the main secret, and it's similar in that respect to doing consecutive from notes. As you're speaking, make sure your eyes are, are checking on what's following. Be scanning up and down the page. Don't be staring at the thing that you are reading, either in sight translation or in consecutive. Scan ahead. Get ready for what is coming up, because you may have to turn a sentence completely around, which is true in both sight translation and in consecutive. It, de it depends on how much the syntax of the source language resembles that of the target language and what comes to you naturally. As a professional in both languages, you are the one who's going to choose the, the best and most natural way of expressing the content of the page in the target language. Again, whether it is uh, note-taking and reading your notes in consecutive or in site translation. So again, you just pick up for site translation, you just pick up any document Preferably something that you know, you know is kind of the kind of vocabulary and, and the kind of thing 
that you would have in a conference, a speech or a technical paper. And if you have a job coming up, do it in your preparation for that. Read it through once. Maybe take a few notes on, write a few notes on there, underline a few things, and then uh, translate it orally as smoothly and as, well, fairly quickly, uh, as uh, fairly quickly so it sounds natural. And that is excellent practice. And it's a good way to make sure that you will have at your finger, fingertips the equivalent vocabulary for any technical or uh, problem words that are in the source language. So that's it for site translation. I'll see you next time. And until next time, bye-bye.